I shot the first part of this roll on a whim, so I didn't get to sit down and talk about the pictures I was going to take and whatnot. So I'm going to do that now, right before I film the second part of the video, if that's okay with you. So this was my very first roll of expired film, and it's Fujifilm Superior 400, and it expired in July 2008. And I thought just expired film and thrift store kind of like went together. So I was like, this is perfect. This is gonna be amazing. And then we got there and it was pretty dark in the building, like very dark. And I only shot like seven, five, six maybe, five or six pictures because I was like, what if I shoot an entire roll here and they all don't work out? And I know that's really lame to like be too afraid to shoot the entire roll because like film photography, like you make mistakes. That's like part of it. But I was like, I spent a lot of money on this and I, I didn't feel quite confident enough. So I only did like six shots and I was like, if they all don't work out, whatever, I'll get over it. And it actually, surprisingly enough, they all ended up working out. Um, there were one or two that didn't work out, but those were the ones I thought would work out, surprisingly. Like the ones that I was unsure about working out were the ones that turned out pretty good. So all the pictures of the, that have people in them are like my friends. They're not just random strangers that I was taking pictures of. But then the rest I took around uh, just my college, just in the, the town nearby. So there's some really good stuff in this, in this shoot. So let's take a look at the pictures right now. As far as the roll of film itself goes, I really like the way that it came back. Because 
Some of the grain on these pictures is like so intense. I really like it. And the whole thing just has this sort of purplish glow to it. Uh, I didn't edit any of these pictures. And I don't plan on editing it because I think a major part of uh, film photography is not having editing really. It's pretty hard to edit some film pictures um, to like fix them, I guess. I mean, you can to definitely edit them, but to like fix them is a little bit hard. So as far as the thrift shop ones, I like them. I like this picture. This is my friend Kylie. She was browsing clothes that happened to be the same color as the jacket she was wearing. And I was like, I have to take a picture of that. And then she was like, when can I see it? And I was like, in like 10 days, maybe 12. This picture of all the clothes on the rack, I did a really uh, short depth of field. I just, it's so cool. And the grain is so apparent in that one. I absolutely love it. So then we're gonna jump to this gas station one. I really like this gas station one. So my initial reaction with this gas station picture was that it was so dark. I was like, dang, it didn't turn out. And then I looked at it again and I was like, wait, this actually is super cool. The grain is like, so like, it's like the photo's like crunchy. I don't know how to describe it. And it's got the, like the purple tint and you have the shadows and the sunlight in there. And just the, the, the diagonal angle of the over or the overhang of the gas station. I think it just looks awesome. I really like that one. I also really like this picture of game trade. Uh, I, felt, I was like, they do a lot of retro games. They do new games too, but I was like, this is cool because I'm like shooting old film. It's retro, the retro sign. And this is one of the most purple pictures, I think, in the bunch. And you have the shadows are so, the contrast is so high. I, I love it. So, and I, I just really squared that one off. I, I tend not to square off pictures as much because with film photography, I like to be a little bit more... I don't know, decisive or like divisive. I like to really like actually put myself on the spot. I feel like anyone can really just square up and take pictures of stuff. But I don't know, that's just a personal belief. And then I was walking away and I walked past this truck and I was like, I gotta go back to that truck. So I waited until there were no cars coming because I was pretty much standing in the road. Um, and then I took this picture. So yeah, it's just like a super old like, I don't even know what it was, but there's there's some uh, like fast food wrappers on the dash too. I don't know. I just liked it. And I like the way the picture turned out. It's so grainy. I wish it was a little bit brighter, but it's okay. I really like this motorcycle one. This motorcycle one is, is cool. <laughs> it's cool. That's all I have to say. So making sure a picture is balanced is something I really try to do. So I framed this one up a couple ways and this was the eventually the way I did it. Originally I had just the tan building. It was gonna be a portrait shot, not landscape, and it was just gonna be in front of the tan building. But then I backed up a lot more and I was like, this looks better. Cause it, the interesting part was I was like, why is there a motorcycle just here? There was no cars anywhere near it or anything. And I think if I had taken the picture closer, you would just be like, okay, so it's a motorcycle behind a building. But now you're just like, why Why are there these old buildings? Why is there a motorcycle just sitting there? Um, not my motorcycle, unfortunately, I wish, but I really like that one as well. So this picture of the lamp was in my head. I was like, Louis, you're a photography genius because I was shooting on expired film and I was shooting the picture of this broken lamp and I was like, wow, the symbolism is fantastic. How do you, how are you in such, how are you in touch with art so well? But really I just, I saw that it was broken and I was like, that's unique. So I'm gonna take a picture of it. And the picture is so purple. I don't know. It's just the way this, the way the colors on this film turned out, I really enjoy. So I, I'm just a fan of that one. This picture of the barbershop spinny thing. I don't really know what it's called, but this is just a classic picture on film where you see the shot, you set it up, you take it, and you're like, this is going to be a good one. I just know it's going to be a good one. Because sometimes you think that, and it's not a good one. Or like not 
like one of your best ones you're just like well that could have been better but this one i set it up i was like i love this one and when i got it back i was like this is exactly what i was hoping for so obviously the colors i didn't know what they were going to be like because obviously no one would know because it's expired but it's so grainy and i like it and also in the background you can see that clock that i eventually took a picture of as well so that's pretty cool I like that one as well. I just the way the pictures are divided into three with the two white, the white posts on that bridge and the clock in the middle. It's just, uh, and the way the sky looks is, is awesome. So I will say about this last picture, it's the college sign. And because of the lens I was using, I couldn't take the picture standing in front of the sign because I wouldn't be able to fit it on frame. And I also couldn't take the picture from the other side of the street because then it looked really small. But I was like, I don't know. I wish I was closer to it now looking at it. Um, at the moment, I didn't really think about that. I was like, this is a good picture. Um, but eventually, obviously I was like, when I got it back, I was like, oh, this could have been better. So that one didn't go exactly as I was planning, but that's just sort of like, the thing about film photography but it but because i'm using expired film it even looks cool even though it's not my favorite picture and i was trying to get no cars moving into it but if you can see on the right side the shadow there there's a car like turning into the picture and i wasn't quick enough so that was my bad but overall i had a really good experience shooting expired film and i actually shot a second roll like two days later without even knowing if the, what the first roll is going to look like. So I shot that on a new camera. And to find out what camera that is, you'll have to watch the next episode, which might be out by the time you see this. It might not be. Um, if you're seeing this shortly after it was posted, it'll be maybe a week or a week and a half till that comes out because I'm still waiting for the film on that. And then once I get the film back, you have to actually make the video. And these videos are actually a lot more time consuming to make than you might think. So yeah. Expired film, I'm sold. I was told it was gonna be awesome. I did it, it was awesome. And I'm gonna continue doing it. So yeah, I've been getting a lot of views on the film photography videos. And I'm not sure if those are my friends because I post it on my Snapchat story every time or if it's just random people on the internet. So if you made it this far, nice. And I'll see you guys in the next one with more expired film. Peace.